Hey YouTube, as you can see I'm up on my roof today. I wanted to show you what I've got going for a TV antenna set up here. A number of years ago I decided to get rid of cable TV. I was tired of paying a hundred bucks a month for cable and so I replaced it all with some antennas for TV. Now in my particular area, out in that direction, is where about 80% of the channels come from. And they're not that far. You can't quite see them because of the trees, but right up there on the tops of those hills is where the antennas are. And so to get that signal, I've got this. It's just a Channel Master 4 bay antenna. Nothing fancy, does a great job, pulls in all the signals from that direction pretty much at 100%. But the problem is, there's like a few channels that come from 120 degrees in the opposite direction that way. And they're much further away, very hard to get. I've tried several professional antennas, I've tried antenna uh, pre-gain amplifiers, nothing seems to pull it in. So I wanted to try a homemade antenna. And what I ended up making was this. This is a 20 foot long Yagi antenna specifically cut to the frequency I'm trying to receive. So what we've got going on here is the boom itself is extruded aluminum tubing one inch by two inches. And it's 20 foot long. And then for the elements on here, so I've got these nylon bushings with the aluminum rods, I drilled holes across and then pounded the rods through. And then I drilled a vertical hole, ran a screw through and drilled and tapped holes into the boom to attach them on there. And that way the elements are electrically isolated from the boom. Now the design for this antenna, I found it on the internet. The original design was for a slightly different frequency. I want to say it was like around 150 megahertz or so but there are formulas you can use to scale it to different frequencies. So I used those formulas to scale the antenna design to the frequency I was interested in. And this is what I came up with. I'll, I'll include links to the de antenna design, the functions to scale and all that stuff. Now as for the receiving the signal, I ended up going with a folded dipole design here. Uh, again, just took some of the aluminum tube, or I should say rod, and kind of bent it around into the shape of a folded dipole and then attached the leads down here to the ballon and then off onto the TV. And then there's one director back here. Uh, I've tried, I've got some screw holes back here and I've tried a corner reflector which it worked but it didn't increase the gain. I found I got the most gain from using just a, a single reflector. So that's the design I've got going here. Now, unfortunately, given all of this antenna, I'm still not able to pull in the channel I was interested in. This antenna does work. There are some other channels in that direction, and it does pull them in. It's just not able to pull in the one channel I was trying to get, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, this was definitely a fun project, and I'm glad I did it. So yeah. If you're ever, ever curious what a 20 foot long antenna looks like for TV frequencies, here you go.